Welcome back to another WordPress tutorial with Pixelweb. In this episode, I'm going to introduce you to a plugin that allows you to add code snippets to your WordPress powered website. Um, why would you need a plugin to do this? Well, let's say you find a, a very cool snippet of code on the internet from a reputable source and you want to use it in your website, but you don't want to necessarily put in your themes functions.php file because if the original theme author, author updates the theme, you're going to lose your custom code. Another option is you could create a child theme to that theme, um, but that kind of gets involved and not everybody wants to do, uh, do that. So this plugin gives you the opportunity to add custom code snippets to your theme without having to worry about the theme updates or if you ever decide to change things. And that's a powerful feature. So let's look at the plugin itself. So we're gonna to go to add new. And you're gonna type out code snippets. The first one that's gonna come out is this one here. I already have it installed because um, I wanted to test it out. And as you can see, it has five star reviews, 20,000 plus active installations, recently updated. You can take a look at the information that's provided, and this is some more information about it. Again, this is a very, very good plugin to use, especially if you change themes often or if you're concerned about uh, your theme getting updated and losing your custom code snippets. All right, so what do we do here? So let's look at the current situation. If we go to um, pages here, I'm going to give you a snippet of code to get the short link back. And we're going to use this plugin code snippets uh, to make that permanent. So let's see how we do that. Now, why would you want to get the short link back? Well, let's say you have a long URL. You don't want to use that long URL in something like Twitter or Facebook, and you don't want to use a service like Bitly. So uh, you may just want to use the previously built-in functionality of getting a short link um, to that individual poster page. All right, so we're going to use the plugin that we just installed, Code Snippets, and we can first go to Settings if you want to take a look at that. And these are the default settings. I leave it as is, um, but you can take a look at it and change it up as you see fit. And we can add new. So you give the snippet of code a title, so I'm going to call it Short Link. And then inside this code section here is where you're gonna add the code snippet. So I'm going to type it out, add filter. And the snippet that I'm giving you now is to get the short link back. Get underscore short link. We gotta close off that quotation mark, put in a comma. And then we're gonna type out function and then Inside there, we'll do short link like that. And then you're going to do that. Go back up. Give yourself some space. We're going to return the short link itself. Put your semicolon in. And over here, you want to close off the parentheses and then put in your semicolon. All right, so let's take a look at this, make sure I type this out correctly. You always want to make sure you copy the snippet exactly and that your, um, or your opening and closing parentheses, quotation marks, uh, curly braces, etc. match. Um, so we're adding a filter, add filter, parentheses, quotation mark, get short link. This is what we're using here. And then we're going to, this is a, we have to put this in quotation marks, comma separated, then function, and then the parameter we're passing through is the dollar sign short link. And then in the, in the curly braces, we're putting the return short link um, command. So then we close that off with the semicolon and the curly brace here, and then the parentheses there, and then the semicolon there. So, all right, so this filter should get us the short link back inside the post and pages and we're using this code snippet plugin. All right, so now let's save this. We're gonna save changes and activate. I'm gonna go back to pages and see what happened here. 
We're going to go back to edit. And now you see we have the get short link feature back um, within our post and pages of our WordPress powered website. This is really cool. All right, so what next? Now, let's say you decide later on, you're going to change the themes. And, you know, you may have forgotten if you've done it the old fashioned way of putting code snippets in your functions.php file, you may have forgotten, you know, that you have to transfer those. Um, so that's why this plugin is, you know, really beneficial. So let, we're going to go back to the default theme. I'm using my custom theme here um, that I coded. And then we're going to activate the 2016 theme. We're going to see if it still works. We're going to go to Pages, All, Edit. And you see it's still there. Um, this would not be here if you do not add this snippet of code. Um, and if you want to add the snippet of code, I recommend using the Code Snippets uh, plugin. It's a very uh, cool plugin. I definitely recommend it. It's one of those plugins that, um, you know, really does make your life a lot simpler. And I'm all for simplicity. Um, you know, it's very popular. It gives you the type of functionality you want without having to really worry about uh, editing your theme files or creating a child theme, something of that nature. And you don't have to worry about theme updates or anything like that. It's uh, very user friendly. It's actively maintained. It's what you're looking for in a plugin. And you can use, you know, just about any type of PHP um, code snippet that you want to add into your website with this code snippet uh, plugin. So check it out. You know, go to the WordPress repository. It's a, it's a free plugin. And um, it's something that I recommend, you know, for, you know, all bloggers. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this episode uh, with uh, Pix and Web, and I hope to see you in the next episodes to come since I'll be giving you some more tutorials on how to manage your WordPress-powered website. If you have any thoughts, ideas, or questions, uh, please leave them in the comment section below, and don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Take care.